Hey guys, this is Carson Miller Tech here, back from another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining everything that goes on with a Mavic Pro controller. If you're like me, and you just recently got a Mavic, or maybe you're just wanting to refresh, then uh, you probably received this thing and looked at it really confused because there are a lot of buttons, there's a screen that has a lot of information on it. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you pretty much everything that all these buttons do, and including a little bit about what is displayed on this screen. So, before talking any more about this, let's get into the video. Alright, so before actually jumping into the functions, I just want to explain really quickly, for anybody who's wondering what this USB is, I don't know if anybody will be wondering, but what the USB is for is if your phone does not have a compatible cable that works with this remote controller. So this remote controller has a small cable right here that plugs into the side, and then that runs to the side of the controller here where it goes and plugs into your phone. The controller comes standard with a lightning port installed there, but it actually comes with two other cables in the box. So. Don't worry if you don't have an Apple product, there's actually two other cables. It comes with their connector to a USB-C and their connector to a, a micro USB. So if you have either one of those, you should be able to use this with your phone. But if you're saying to yourself right now, oh no, I don't even have a smartphone to use with this, I'd like to use like a tablet or something like that. Well that is where this USB plug on the bottom comes in and you can actually go and plug in your regular cable into the bottom there and if you had like a tablet, then you could just plug in the other end, which this is a bad example because it's lightning but you could plug your proprietary connector or whatever into the iPad or whatever tablet you'd be using. So that also works with other phones that don't have that. And the reason why you'd actually have to be plugged in, of course, is so then you can actually access Access your drone feed from your DJI GO 4 app. So the way that the actual controller connects to your phone is through the connection there or through there. Okay, so now that that has all been said, let's get to actually turning on the remote controller. So you just turn it on by pressing and pressing once again and holding the second time and it will turn on your remote controller. It's exactly the same as turning on the drone. And you of course have to turn on the drone. Okay, so once you're actually in the app, this is what your controller should look like. And it should say GPS mode ready to fly. But before actually taking off, you will want to know what all the functions of the remote controller do. So up here on the top left is a return to home button. So if your app just goes kaput and it just goes off or there's a malfunction or something like that and you have to return home, then this button right here is great for that because you just press it and your drone will begin returning home. Secondly here, there are the two controller sticks and of course that's actually for controlling the drone. Right here is a button that stops any autonomous flight modes so if you go in to the special modes here and you begin like a point of interest mode or something like that follow me and you want to stop it immediately then pressing this red button right here will stop it and you don't have to worry about like your drone falling from the sky it will just purely stop the mode and keep the drone hovering in place where it is. This right here is actually a multi-control stick, so you can program this. It is a little bit limited. I wish it could do a little bit more, but you can program it to do a couple of things. So for me right now, I have it programmed when you push it down, it moves the camera immediately down, and when you push up, moves it immediately up, as you can see there. And then also left and right, I have zooming in and out, but since I'm shooting in 4K currently, I actually can't use that, sadly. You have to be in like 1080p for that to work. Also, if you'd like to get into those special flight modes, you don't have to worry about clicking this button on the app. You could do it from the controller. Just press down on this little joystick as well, and it will open it right up for you to all the different modes. So now getting to more of the rear here of the controller, there is, of course, this little camera button, which is to take photos. This right here is to stop and start recording. This little knob up here on the top left is for controlling the gimbal angle. So you can move it down, you can move it up just by moving this right here. On the opposite side, the other one over here actually adjusts exposure on the camera. So if you are in flight and you'd like to adjust the brightness of your image, you can do that with that just by turning this up here. It's really nice because you don't have to fumble with in-app settings here anymore. It's really convenient actually having that up there. And lastly, back here on the back, there are two buttons here that you may not have even noticed at first, but this one right here is C1, this one is C2. These are also programmable through the DJI GO app and you can make them do pretty much anything. I think they come standard with the right button going to playback mode and that'll just bring up all your previous images and videos. And the other one over here, I'm not sure what that one does when it comes standard, but I've had it programmed to go and when I press it, 
it auto focuses in the center of video so I don't have to go tap on the screen or whatever I can keep my hands up here on the top of the controller where everything matters when controlling your drone also one last thing is on the right side of the controller there's actually a switch that you can flick and that puts the drone into sports mode so if you'd like to go and fly really fast you can go and flick this switch over here but the default position is down which keeps it in regular GPS mode all right so since I mentioned that you can actually program this right here and the two buttons here on the back. Let me just show you how to access those settings really quick. So just in the top right, click on the three little dots. Go to your controller settings by clicking the little controller up here. So once you're in the controller settings, you can just scroll down a little bit and you will see the rear buttons right here and it will say button customization. So right here you can change C1 and C2. And as you can see, these are the settings that I have currently for my controller. And a little bit lower than that, you can find the 5D button customization, which is this one right here. And in here, you can control when you press up, press down, move it left, and move it right. So you can change it to move the camera up and down, zoom in, zoom out, portrait mode, focusing, slash metering, and auto exposure lock. So that's pretty customizable. And yeah, that is how to customize those buttons. And finally, the actual screen right here that shows a lot of your information of what you're doing and does not rely on the app. So if your app crashes or something, you'll always have this information up here. So I'm not gonna be explaining everything on here, but some of the main ones that you're gonna wanna be able to pay attention to is up here in the top left will show your speed when you are actually in flight. Right here will show your GPS if you are connected to GPS and how good of a signal with the GPS you actually have so right here there is battery make sure to pay attention to this one so you don't get too low right here is your remote controller signal so if you're flying further away and you'd like to know if you're gonna lose signal with your drone soon that's right there right here in larger text will tell you what mode you're in and if the drone is ready to fly if there's an error or something it will pop up right here right down here shows the remote controllers battery and to the right of that is a little icon that shows if you have the vision sensors turned on and if they are currently taking part in your flight. So if you have those turned off, I don't believe that will be there. Over here, it will show if you have your SD card in. So this is a big thing if you don't know if you forgot your SD card or if you didn't put it in or not. So if you check right here, it will show you if the SD card is in the drone. So for me, it is, so that's good. And lastly down here, it will show your height from the ground and the distance from the remote controller. And over here to the left, you will see a measurement and it will show you the clearance that you have with the ground from the vision sensors on the drone itself. All right, so now that I've explained all this controller, what would a drone video be without actually taking off and getting you some drone shots? And I'll be showing you a little bit of how these buttons right here work, like I mentioned earlier. So let's take off. Okay, so as you can see right now, I am flying in point of interest mode. It actually displays what mode you're in up here, like I said. And as you may be able to see in this final video, it is battling the wind right now. The wind is very bad, and let me just tell you now, this Mavic cannot handle that much wind. If I flew my Phantom 3 Standard right now, it would be doing fine, but with this Mavic, it really can't take the wind too well. But because of the wind, let's say I'm about to crash or something like that, and you want to exit the mode immediately. Say you have this hidden, and you don't have time to open it back up, and your hands are up here on the controls. You can just press this red pause button right there, and it immediately stops the mode where it is. So as you can see, it's just hovering in the air. It didn't like make it fall to the ground happily enough. So there's that. Also, I just want to show one more time, pressing down on this. We'll move it down. Moving it up, we'll move it up, and pressing on it will bring up this screen right here again. So there are quite a few modes on here actually that you can use. So if you've never used many of them, then... Okay, so now that I'm getting a little bit cold, I wanna bring the drone home and go inside. So I'm gonna do that. You can't just press the return to home button. If you just press it, it will not begin returning to home. You have to actually hold the button and you will hear that tone and it will begin returning to home. See how well it does. 
So there we go. Now that the flight landed, we're gonna wanna stop the recording. So if we're up here controlling, then you can just press this button right there and it stops the recording. So yeah, that is pretty much it now for all the different things on this controller. If you were like me and when you first saw this controller, you were super scared because there was so much going on everything there's just so much then i really hope that this video has helped you because it's actually not so bad once you learn everything that this thing can do so anyways guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i really hope this helped you out no matter if you are a beginner or even a casual user of this thing and you just didn't know what one of the things did i hope this was able to help you out if it did, make sure to let me know by clicking that thumbs up button down below. And one more thing, if you are planning on purchasing a drone anytime soon, consider helping to support me and purchase through one of my DJI affiliate links, which will be down in the description. But anyways, if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future from me, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to see my last video, that should be up there and some random video should be down there. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope it helped you out. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Not only is the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum a great drone, but it also seconds for a great hand warmer once you've landed in cold weather.